Your Excellency, the Vice President, the man of the moment, Mahmoud Baumia. Accept him. So this is it. Thank you very much. A big round of applause for His Excellency, the former President, John Ajekum Kufuor. Your Excellency, the Vice President, the man of the moment, Mahmoud Baumia. And our second lady, party elders, party members, excellencies of the diplomatic corps, our revered chiefs and queen mothers, and all of the citizens of Ghana watching this program, whether from within these halls or from outside, I have come to bear witness to the candidate who is being inaugurated today. I have always seen him as a man of destiny. When I first saw him, and that was about 2002, he was just a is it research assistant to the governor of the Central Bank and in far away London. This young man delivered a paper at an international conference of um, giants from the city of London, the financial world, and some very powerful people of government and Immediately he finished his address. He was going to sit down, but there was something in his statement and about him. I was president of Ghana then. <laughs> in fact, till then I hadn't even spoken with him ever before. But I sent somebody, I think one of the officers with me, go and call me that young man. He came, I congratulated him, and I don't know what, what came in me. Prophetically, I told him, carry on like that, and you'll go far. <laughs> then, 2008, as I was stepping down, and the party had chosen president, uh, then candidate Akufuadu, who later became president, somehow Akufuadu picked the same young man to be his running mate. Till then, Baumia was not even in the main stream of party. He was a party man, all right, but behind the scenes. So he picked him, and uh, of course there were, there were some surprises. People expressed misgivings. I thought of it, and then at a party meeting in the Aliza Hotel, I remembered my first meeting of, with this young man in London, the, and what I told him. Then it dawned on me again to more or less prophesy. I appealed to the party just to accept this man to carry on, man of destiny. Today, we've all gathered here to launch him as our presidential candidate for 2024 20, elections, for president of Ghana. As I said with the opening of my statement, that I've come to bear witness that this man definitely is on a mission, a mission determined by destiny. And please, let's all accept him to, to continue. We happen to be living in times where the whole world, the whole world is in a flux. Leadership is very, very scarce. Quality leadership. If anybody aspires to be a leader without command, 
of the new technologies, like digitalization. <laughs> And also, without a deep grasp of geopolitics, I tell you, he may be a good man uh, in terms of uh, mastering some of the old disciplines like, say, uh, economics, politics, and all that. But I tell you, very likely he may be found wanting, wanting sooner than later. This young man here, seems to have these uh, instruments under his belt. Digitalization, geopolitics, and additionally, we've seen him perform loyally under President Akufuado, and uh, he's been also in public view since uh, he got selected as the vice presidential candidate in 2008. He's hallmarked by Humility and the temperance requisite for the job of leading a nation in search of a way forward. Ghana has come to a crossroads, and I'm serious here. It's not the normal, regular politics we want. We want a leadership with a vision even in the complex world I've talked about. Uh, the leader that would be able to match out the new technologies to pick the requisite manpower. And here, allow me, I'm a party man, soundly, but I tell you, we should be talking about the nation and not so much about the party. We must get people of competence to work with him to find our way out of the confusion our society and economy have been plunged into. I wouldn't blame any side. When you look at the track records of all the parties, I tell you, you can't find one that can say that in their time they were excellent or superb. No. We are in a new situation, and I believe the saying that come with the hour, come with the man, is now. The hour has come for this man And I like the theme that I posted against the wall. Look at behind the lectern there. Bold solutions for the future. Without the preparations I've talked about, understanding the new technologies and knowing the sort of people to recruit to work with, and really being committed to your nation, to secure a decent and dignified niche in the global context for your nation, that is geopolitics. Without them, I tell you, we will continue to wallow. So I'm witnessing that, I, it seems, looking across the field of the arena of contestants for presidency now, it seems this man was fashioned by destiny for this time, and so I appeal to Ghana. I'm appealing to the whole nation to give him the chance to come and lead us. And I, I have a feeling, I have a very strong feeling, he is truly the man of the moment and Ghana must accept him. So this is it. Thank you very much. A big round of applause for His Excellency, the former president, John Ajekum Kufuor. And that's a handshake of blessing. Ladies and gentlemen,